Hello and welcome back to Library Trace YouTube channel. Today we'll be learning how to make eight pieces skirt. Okay, so we'll be cutting it together. I'm using a three and a half inches fabric, three and a half yards. Sorry, three and a half yards of fabric, and I'll be folding it into four. Remember, it is it's an eight pieces skirt. So the two in front here will be for the front part, and the two down will be for the back. So my fabric is folded into four. My table is not too wide. That's why you can't see everything at home. But this is the rest of the fabric. I just folded it normally, like you fold your fabric into four. And then this is the measurement I'm working with. The waist I'm working with is 28 inches. The hip is 36. The knee length is 18. The full scale length is 45 inches. The measurement from my waist to my hip is nine inches. So I've represented that on my fabric with these markings. This is my 9 inches for my waist, 18 inches for my knee. No, sorry. This is my waist measurement. This is the 9 inches from my waist to hip, 18 inches from my waist to knee length, and this is my full length of 45 inches. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to be doing now is to measure 7 inches away from from my starting from from here so i'm going to measure seven inches and then i'm going to make it into a straight line straight line if you have enough fabric if you have more than three and a half if you want it fuller you can measure more than seven inches but this is what i have to work with and seven inches is fine for me so i'm measuring seven inches and i'll make that into a straight line Okay, now, so I've measured my 7 inches, now I can start my measurements. The difference between this and the 6 pieces skirt is that this is going to be having a seam line at the center front. Remember in the 6 pieces skirt, this side is always on fold and there is no seam along the, along the center front of the skirt. So this is going to be in 8 pieces, which means that we are going to be having 4 different pieces for the front and four different pieces for the back and for us to get that the center front needs to be slashed open it will not be closed okay so for it to have like a form of flare at the center front that is why i went in by this seven inches so that i can slant it a bit so that it will also have its own like free yard in the front in the center front because it is not closed Okay, now that that is taken care of, I'll start taking my measurements. For my center front, I'll be using my bust pad measurement, which is 8 inches. Divided by 2 is going to give me 4 inches, so I'll measure 4 inches like this. And for my knee length, I'll deduct half inch from whatever I measured here. So 4 inches divided by half is going to give me 3 and half. And then I'm going to make this into a straight line. Okay? I don't have a long thing like that's why I'm breaking it like that. So I'm um, making this into a straight line. So now the next thing is for us to work on our hemline. So now for my hemline depends on how full you want it to be. I'll be measuring 10 inches. I'll be working with 10 inches. If you have more fabric, you can use 8, you can use 9, you can use 12, depending on the amount of fabric you have. If you don't have too much fabric, you can also work with 9 inches. But in this case, I'll be working with 10 inches. And then from my, remember it's not from here, it's from the 7 inches mark that I'm taking the 10 inches. So I'm measuring the 10 inches now, and then I'm going to slant it in a way to make it into a straight line like this. Okay, so I've slanted it like this. So for this part also, I'll be slanted from my knee all the way to my M line for my seven inches part. Okay, so I'm going to slant this now. So I've slanted the seven inches part also now. So I'm going to cut it out. But to cut it, I'm going to carefully lift up the first part. Remember, this the center back is going to be having an allowance. A zipper allowance and i told you that the two the first two is for the front 
and the last two is for the back okay so now i cannot cut because i've not included zipper allowance into this i cannot cut the front and the back together and the way i i i folded it this is the opened part so that i can i'll be able to lift it up that was why i made sure that i started my from my measurement from this hand point so i'm going to lift this up now and then i'm going to cut off the center front the two, the two center front, leaving the center back. So after cutting it off, I'm going to add my zipper allowance to the center back, and then I'll be able to cut it also. So now that this is half, I'll go back to my center back. I extend this line a bit. And then I'm going to be measuring one and a half inches for my zipper allowance. You can do two, you can do one inch. So I'm measuring one and a half inches all through. Okay. And then you connect. But if you want to give this a bomb, a bomb allocation, like a bomb right on the hip part, I'll be adding half inch. So that it should just be protruding a bit away from the other one and it will give it allocation for the bomb. Remember there is a bomb at the back side. So I'll be connecting it like this. And then all the way down to the 7 inches just like I did for the front. Okay now so you can see I've chopped this. I cannot cut it off. So our center front and center back is ready. We are left with the side front and the side back. So this is going to be giving us two pieces for my center front and also two pieces for my center back. So now we have four pieces of our eight pieces. We are left with four pieces, and the four pieces is going to be, be, we are going to get it from our two side front and our two side back, and that is going to make up a total of eight pieces for our eight pieces. Yes. Okay, so you can see this is the center front. We have two pieces, and this is the center back. We also have two pieces. So now I'm going to be working on the side front and side back. Okay, now so for our two side front and two side back, remember we cut our center front and center back away from this. Okay, so this is it. I don't want us to be confused. Remember, I cut this off from it. Okay, so now to cut my side front and side back this is now the largest part and this is the narrow part of the fabric as you can see so now i'm going to flip my narrow part of my center front to the narrow part of my side front of the of the leftover fabric which means this big part is what is going to be here i just turned it this is what i did this is how it was so now I'm just going to be turning it over so that I can have more fabric on the on this side. This side is not going to be my hemline line because this side now has more fabric than the first hemline line that I worked with. Okay, so after flipping it over like this, this is what I have. I hope you can understand this. So remember this is the side part of the center front this is the part that i measured seven inches it is this side part that i'm going to be cutting out now for my center for my side front so that i can shape my side front so i'm going to cut it out first so that we won't get confused and then we are, con we are going to continue with shaping our fabric okay so i've shaped this side now as you can see so now to shape my skirt i'm just going to remember this is the center front i'm going to flip it like this so after flipping it i'll be placing it on each other like i've sewn it with half half inch so that i'll not have any shortage when i'm sewing so okay remember i'll be sewing together like this with half inch 
So I'll just place it on it like I've sewn it. But before I do that, I'm going to mark my hip line and my knee length. Okay, so this is my hip line. This is my knee length. So now after marking that, I'm just going to flip this now. And then I'll start taking my measurement. The waist I'm working with is 28 inches. Divided by 4 is going to give me 7 inches. And I'm going to be adding 2 inches allowance. So for my center front, I mark 7 inches. And then add 2 inches to it. On my hip line, I'm working with 36 inches. Divided by 4 is going to give me 9. And I'll add 2 inches allowance to it. So on my knee length, depending on how fitted you want it to be at the knee but the normal thing is for you to just remove 6 inches from the hip measurement which is 36 so 36 minus 6 is going to give me 30 and the 30 I'm going to divide it by 4 and it will give me 7 and half I'll mark 7 and half and then add 2 inches allowance to it so if you want more fitting around the hip area, around the knee area you can deduct up to 8 inches from your hip measurement so now i'm going to be connecting these together i'm supposed to use the curve driller but i can't find my curve driller so i just find a way to smoothen it out here so that is the actual measurement and this is the two inches allowance that i had it okay so my sides have been shaped now the next thing is for me to connect from this my knee length all the way to the M line like this. So I just break it because my long ruler is not here. So I can use this small ruler to connect this now. So like I said, I use three and a half yards of fabric for this eight pieces skirt. So if you have more, you can, and if you have less, the only difference is just that your hemline won't be as wide as mine. So after doing this now, I'm ready to cut it off. And we are through with cutting our eight pieces fabric. Now we have four cuts together. So this is one, two for the front and one, two for the back. Remember when I folded into four, I told us that the first two is for the front and the last two is for the back. So now we want to shape the hemline as possible. On this sharp part, you just need to go up by maybe two or three inches. Let's say I'm going up by two and a half inches. And using a curve driller, I'm going to smoothen it out with a smooth curve. So I can't find my curve driller. I'm just going to illustrate this. Okay, so I have my curve driller now. I'm just going to smoothen it like this. So that it will be too sharp and then I can shape this out. So we have our two, four sides, both front and back, and these are my two side back. Okay, this is the side back. This is the second side back. And these are my two side front. So that is how you cut your eight pieces here. You can see that it's very simple to make. Give this a try and feed us back on whatever challenges you may have. Thank you for supporting our channel so far. We appreciate your support. Kindly subscribe if you haven't subscribed to our channel and click on the notification bell so that you get notified every time we upload a new video. See you in the next one. Bye.